People would tell you that you need to be some type of celebrity, influencer, or super smart to make more than $20,000 in a month, especially in tech. But in this video, I'm about to bust it because I'm gonna share my story of how I made over $20,000 in a single month from a remote tech job without needing any certifications or college degrees. Are you ready for this? Let's go. Hey cyber heroes and welcome back to my channel. If you're new, I'm Boyd Clues, an internationally recognized cybersecurity expert and I help IT guys upgrade their jobs into a six figure tech career. And if you wanna join me on this journey, be sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell so that you're notified whenever I drop new content guaranteed to help you take your career to six figures and beyond. Let's go. All right, guys, before we jump into the big bag, I think it's important that I give you a backstory of what happened. So you know what that means, right? Story time. Okay, guys, so back in 2000. 17, I believe it was, maybe 18, one of those things. I was actually working as the senior security architect for American Airlines. And if you check back to my video of how I upgraded my job from 33,000 to 200,000, I talk about that story. I was the senior security architect at American Airlines, and I was working in this specific niche in cybersecurity called PCI DSS, that's Payment Card Industry Data Security Standard. And if you watch more than one of my videos, you know this is my bread and butter. This is what made everything change for me. This is the standard that companies have to follow if they store, process, or transmit credit card data. We're talking recession proof, pandemic proof, source of income here. This career path is completely stable and I love it. It transformed my life. Okay. Anyway, so one of the things that I believe in wholeheartedly is you need to manage your career like a business. You are a business owner and your employer is just a client, your service provider. This is the exact thought process that I had as I continue to grow my career. I'm working at American Airlines. I'm the senior security consultant. I am traveling the world. I'm helping the company implement security controls, policies, procedures to maintain compliance with this security standard so they're not fined millions of dollars by the bank and I realized that there's like this significant knowledge gap I'm talking to my my co-workers and they don't understand this standard so I'm having to break this down and really explain to them what this standard means and the implications of not being compliant so I thought about this I have this this thing that I call the unicorn theory. If it applies to one person, it probably applies to the many. And I was right. So what I did was I decided instead of compartmentalizing my knowledge and information around this standard that I had a lot of experience in, I would broadcast it out to the freaking world using LinkedIn, all right? So I'm going somewhere with this. It doesn't matter how good you are at doing something, if nobody knows that you're good at it. So number one, this is what you need to understand. In order for you to get to the place where you're making $20,000, $30,000 in a single month, you have to have a skill set that is undeniable and people have to believe in you. And you do this through thought leadership. So what I started doing is I was categorizing all of the common issues that I was running into at American Airlines. And I started detailing my response and my thought process behind it. And I started writing blogs and I started making posts on LinkedIn about the specific challenges that I was solving and my unique perspective. Now it's important to understand, you don't have to be the best at anything. You just need to be authentically you and be different. And you definitely want to be accurate. Let's not forget that you want to be accurate. So I have a different way of approaching things because I'm a unique individual, right? So I start sharing my thought leadership on LinkedIn and my influence is starting to grow. People are liking the post, they're commenting, they're sharing, and it is just really like crowdsourcing my thought leadership on LinkedIn. And to the point that hiring managers and recruiters start reaching out to me asking if I was interested and available for opportunities. And I was like, hmm, I'm on to something here. So what you have to understand is with managing your career like a business, you always need to be marketing. Marketing and advertising are something that's completely different. Marketing is, this is my brand identity, this is who we are, what we do. Advertising is when you're selling a product. I don't sell products on LinkedIn, but I market every single day. 
to build my brain. And that's where it got me to where I am today. So anyway, through this thought leadership process, the hiring managers and recruiters, and they're reaching out to me. And then a specific person reached out to me with an opportunity that I just could not pass up. All right. As a matter of fact, I want to show you all this. I'm going to jump over to my computer. We're actually going to walk back through that conversation so y'all can walk this journey with me and experience everything. OK, guys, so I'm over here in my LinkedIn inbox now going it back, throwing it back to 2018. So I'm going to break this down. Vidaya reached out to me back in August of 2018. She's telling me where she is and she has a job opportunity for a PCI QSA ISA consultant role. And this is 100 percent remote. If you're interested, let me know about this opportunity. Kindly reply back also. So first of all, if you don't know what a QSA is, you haven't been paying attention to what I've been telling you. That is a payment card industry qualified security assessor. A QSA is the only person that is qualified to sign off on a report of compliance, also called a ROC, that determines whether or not a company is PCI DSS compliant. And an ISA is an internal security assessor, right? So both of these certifications come through the PCI Standard Council. OK, at this point in time, I am working at American Airlines making one hundred and fifty thousand dollars a year. I don't need a job. So she asked me, are you looking for a job? My response is I'm interested in knowing more about this. Never limit your opportunities because you have a job. At the end of the day, that company could shut down, lay you off with no regard and then what never stack all your chips in one basket especially putting your livelihood in the hands of another company take advantage of it and diversify your income okay so here she goes she says they're looking for a pci consultant with isa or qsa certification even if your certification is expired they will consider a rate of a hundred dollars per hour on w2 so here's the question when's the last time you were ever approached for an opportunity paying a hundred dollars per hour i'll wait now <laughs> if the answer is never you need to understand why what I'm teaching you guys is so powerful and why I've been able to help so many people transform their lives. This payment card industry standard, when you're helping companies offset the risk of losing millions of dollars, it only makes sense for them to pay you this type of money. It makes business sense. But if you don't understand business, it's going to be hard for you to realize that I'm actually telling you the truth. So she's like, first thing tomorrow morning, I'll share the job description. I'm like, cool. She's like, does this rate work? Here's the deal, guys. If you follow me, I tell you, I have never shown up to a job interview without knowing how much I was going to get paid and knowing that I wasn't going to get lowballed because I negotiate before the interview. If you show up and you give your time, your energy and effort and then get lowballed, that's on you. Time is something that you never get back. So do not show up to an interview without knowing how much you're going to get paid. So she asked me, does this right work? Always ask what's been budgeted for this position. I would prefer 120. And her response is I can do 120, but without benefits. If with benefits, max I can do is 105. Remember, I'm working at American Airlines right now. I have flight benefits. I have great health benefits. I don't need any of that. So $120 is what we negotiated. So she said, we already placed some consultants and, and they started and now they need two more persons to set up a team. So if you're available immediately. And so I start asking, who's the client? What other details can you provide me? So she gives me the information and I get an interview set up with the company the following day. We had a phone interview and I aced the interview. They asked me questions and I blew their mind because PCI DSS, I live and breathe it. And because of that, they hired me on the spot. They shipped me a laptop. And so while I'm at American Airlines on site, I am literally working two jobs and I'm making $20,000 of side income. Literally. And just in case you don't believe me, I'm going to show you the proof. OK, so here's actually one of my paycheck stubs from the first week that I started working. You can see there was one hundred and twenty dollars per hour. The hours that were work was 40. That was forty eight hundred dollars a week. And I did this fully remote reviewing policies and procedures and not even having to set up any type of meetings or anything like that. I was literally reviewing policies, procedures, documentation to help a very well-known company prepare for their upcoming PCI DSS assessment. 
So here's a question for you. Were you even aware that you can make more than 20 grand in a month without being an influence, a business owner? Were you aware that you could do that in PCI? Let me know in the comments below. And if you want to get help learning the skills to be in a position where you can bill 120 plus dollars per hour, I invite you to apply to join the Baxter Clueless Training Academy. You can visit www.boydclueless.com forward slash GRC or click the link in the description. Apply to join the Baxter Clueless Training Academy where we've helped more than 500 IT guys upgrade their jobs into a six figure tech career by becoming payment security specialists. And I wanna personally train, mentor you so that you can start a rewarding career in payment security. If you got value from this video, be sure to like this video, share it with your friends, subscribe to the channel so that you're notified whenever I drop new videos guaranteed to help you take your career to six figures and beyond. And then, See you on the next one, guys. Peace.